You might have heard the saying the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Well, if you're from the South you've probably heard it, it's pretty much a universally accepted truth around here. Yes, it's got some anti-feminist undertones, but who really cares about splitting ideological hairs when you're eating a really good home-cooked meal? There's been some criticism of President Trump over his weight, but in his defense, the guy is pretty tall. Obviously, the goal is to be healthy, live long, and accomplish a lot. By that standard, I think the president is doing pretty well. Even the folks who think that we should think everyone is beautiful and accept people for their differences, etc., etc., want to take shots at the president for his appearances. Seems a bit hypocritical to me, but never let it be said that a liberal left the chance to criticize the president go by them. The first family has come under this appearance scrutiny again while on their trip to Italy. Not only have Melania and Ivanka been criticized for choosing to wear a veil at the Vatican when they didn't in Saudi Arabia, but now the Pope's comments to Melania are causing liberal eyebrows to raise. For the record, nobody, not even the media gets to control what the Pope says. You know that's gotta burn them up. Via Alan B. West One doesn't tend to think of Pope Francis as a comedian but today he managed to ever so sweetly bust the chops of President Trump in a quick little quip to the First Lady, Melania. Apparently he noticed that the Donald doesn't appear to have missed many meals, at least recently. Nearing the end of the first meeting together, the pontiff jokingly asked Melania what she gives him to eat, but he also managed to graciously add a little reference only Melania would understand. According to the New York Daily News, through a translator, Pope Francis asked Mrs. Trump, what do you give him to eat potica? The Pope was asking Slovenian-born Melania Trump about a nut-filled cake known in her homeland as potica. He tasted the traditional treat when Slovenian Prime Minister Miro Sarar visited the Vatican in 2015. Laughing, the First Lady did not dispute the Holy See's assessment and replied, potica. The President is 6'3 and supposedly weighs 250 pounds and change. In an interview last September, Trump admitted to Dr. Mehmed Oz, I could lose a little weight. Given how wonderful the food is in Italy, it's doubtful he'll get a jump start on that during this trip. I can just imagine the Pope lying in bed at night, thinking about what he could say that would make the First Lady laugh. He may be in charge of people's spirituality, but a merry heart doeth good like a medicine and he apparently remembered that on this visit from the United States First Family. I think some people are assuming this is a slight toward President Trump, but I would seriously doubt it. The Pope is Argentinian, which is considered to be Latino and Latino families are known to take their mealtimes very seriously. Latino mothers especially will feed you until you're ready to burst because it's a point of love and pride to them. That's one way in which a wife and mother takes good care of the people that she loves, she makes sure that their stomachs are full. After all. You can't take on the world if you're worried about where your next meal is going to come from. While we don't know for sure what was going through their heads, I would submit that the kind and holy man was trying to pay Melania a compliment. To someone who is as traditional as the Pope no doubt is, a well-fed family would be a sign of a mother who's doing their job. And yes, I know that Melania probably doesn't actually do the cooking at the White House, but it's a nod toward a normal family life. For people who are constantly surrounded by security and have a very abnormal life, it's nice to think that the Pope was trying to act like this was just a normal family with normal routines. Share this if you think Melania is doing a great job. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.